Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe Hindi, the Android Authority App Guy, and welcome back to Google Play Weekly. This week, it's all about Microsoft, Google, material design, and a couple of awesome games. So let's get started. First up this week, Microsoft has released a couple of interesting Android applications, as well as an Android Wear app. These are all thanks to an initiative at Microsoft called The Garage Project, which is essentially random Microsoft employees getting together to do fun things. The first application is called Journey in Notes, and it's essentially a simplistic travel log. The other is called Next Lock Screen, and it's kind of like Microsoft's take on Dash Clock. The Android Wear application is called Torque, and it lets you access Cortana with a flick of the wrist. They're all free in the Google Play Store, and frankly, kudos to Microsoft for doing something a little bit different. While we're on the topic of Microsoft, they just opened up their Office 365 Cloud APIs for developers to use on Android. What this means is that developers can now use these APIs to integrate their applications with Microsoft Office 365 Cloud. One example is the popular IFTTT application which will be able to use Office 365 events as triggers to do other things. We know most of you use Google Drive and will likely scoff at this a little bit, and that's fine, but personally I'm stoked that Microsoft is taking Android more seriously and that Google Drive is finally getting some real competition. So Google finally released that bookmark application that was teased repeatedly over the summer. Back then it was called Google Stars, but its final name is called Bookmark Manager. It features large graphics, some advanced organization features, and it's definitely something different than the classic bookmark style. It's free in the Chrome App Store right now if you want to give it a shot, but be warned, it is really busy, so if you're like me and never really organized your bookmarks before, you're in for a bit of a shock. While we're on the topic of Google, they just made it really easy for developers to integrate the OK Google hot word into their applications. Okay, so here's what this means. Google has made it ridiculously easy for application developers to integrate OK Google into their application. Literally like half a dozen lines of code. This doesn't mean much for consumers right now, but down the road, a lot more applications are going to have OK Google integrated to their application, and that's pretty exciting. In our last bit of news this week, a whole bunch of Google applications got material design updates. I'm not kidding, Google Play Movies and TV, Google Wallets, Google Play Games, Google Drive, Google Docs, Google Slides, and Google Sheets all got material design updates this last week. This is no doubt in preparation for the Nexus 6 and Nexus 9 launch, which apparently went really well if you're Google, and horribly if you're everyone else. These updates are currently rolling out, so if you use any of them, just sit tight because it's coming. So who wants to see some trending applications? As usual, if you want to check any of these applications out, you can find the links in the written companion, which is in the video description below. First up this week is Republic. It's a stealth action game that comes with amazing graphics, a dark and entertaining storyline, and three episodes of content to play through with more planned in the future. It uses the Walking Dead style where it adds content to the game in the form of episodes, and you have to buy them as in-app purchases. So far it's garnered positive reviews, and $2.99 really isn't that bad. Inbox by Gmail has already made quite the splash, and it's still in the invite-only stage that most Google apps go through before being released to the public. It's Google's latest take on email, and so far it's had some pretty polarizing reviews. Some think it's great, while others think it's too busy and complicated. We did a quick hands-on so you can judge for yourself, and that's linked in the video description below and here at the end of the video. ES File Manager now has Chromecast support, but you'll have to download this plugin in order to do it. It is free in the Google Play Store, and it does essentially what it says it does. Once you download and install the plugin, you'll have the Chromecast option in the actual ES File Explorer app, and you can cast photos and videos. If you use ES File Explorer, you should also have this. NHL 2K is out, and it's probably the best hockey game you can get on Android. It's a little pricey, and having in-app purchases on top of the $8 price tag is probably a bit much for some people, but sports do tend to lag behind the competition when it comes to mobile gaming. In any case, there are plenty of game modes, accurate rosters, and some old arcade-style gameplay. It's also really nice to see major publishers taking Android a little bit more seriously. Last up this week is DJ, which is a very, very popular DJ application over on iOS that's finally made its Android debut. It has a lot of features that allow you to alter and mix songs at your leisure, and it comes with Spotify integration. It seems to be generally well-liked, but there are more hardcore users who seem to wish it had more features. In any case, $2.99 isn't that much, and it does look like a lot of fun. If you want to see the latest and greatest in Android app news and reviews, simply head on over to androidauthority.com, click on that little menu button thingy at the top, and check out the app application section. If you want to talk more about applications, we have a forums now, which you can go to at forums.androidauthority.com and just check out the app section. I will see you there.
Once again, I'm Joe Hindi, the Android Authority app guy. While you're here, why not subscribe to the Android Authority YouTube channel? If you're hanging out for a minute, we have a couple of awesome videos for you to watch right over there and linked in the video description below for you folks on mobile. Finally, don't forget to check out the written companion, which is in the video description below because that's where you're going to find all of the download links. As always, thanks for watching everybody and have a wonderful day.